Ugh, I got lip, I got hair in my lip gloss. I think I got it. <laughs> Hey artists, welcome back. Sorry it took me a couple weeks to get back to you. Uh, I took a little bit of a vacation, staycation, whatever you want to call it. It's basically I was recovering from 30 Days, 30 Faces, drawing 30 portraits in 30 days, which I thoroughly enjoyed. And you can click in, up in the right-hand corner for those particular videos, at least one of them. I don't know which one I'm going to put up. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. Hello. How are you doing today? My name is Jane. If you feel so inclined to do so, please feel free to hit the subscribe button for all things art. This is what this is. It's an art channel. I love art. I love art supplies, all things art. So let's get right into it. I am here to do a little bit of a review for these wonderful Parku dual tip markers. They were sent to me by the company. Um, I was, I'm not paid to do this review. They actually really wanted me to give an honest review about their products, which I always do anyways. There's 80 colors in here. There's a chisel tip and a fine tip. So they're kind of your um, art markers that you can use for many different things. You can use them for an underpainting. You can use them for completely by themselves. Um, I will show you a couple examples of some portraits that I did with them. And so <laughs> I also organize these by the color of the rainbow but it got a little mixed up over here after I used them for a few products. I had them all in order. One thing I will say right off the bat, um, with the construction of this design here, I really like this travel case that it comes with. I mean, I can just pick it up and go if I need to take it to my boyfriend's house and work on something or anywhere else um, outside of the home, which we aren't doing much of these days. But <laughs> uh, it's a nice sturdy design. I really like these little tabs here because they really are nice. They're not loose or anything. They won't, you know, get flimsy on you. Next thing you know, you got markers everywhere on your floor. So I also want to point out one of the pros here is that they give you a little card. Um, they give you a little card to swatch all of your art markers with. And it's nice because it's kind of like in a little bit of a rainbow-ish pattern here. You got a nice range of colors here. And for me, being a portrait artist, and now this may not be your needs, um, I did find that there were a few tones that worked. But for my needs, I kept reaching for another set that's a skin tone set by Artiza. So it wasn't always a good color match, but there are good skin tones in here. You've got 28, 29, 134 for the fair skin tones. You've got 24, 36, 31, all these um, deeper tones here. And, you know, you've got a nice set of warm grays and some cool grays for shadows. I really like them. Um, so far, I've used them for two portraits, and uh, I did use other brands as well. So I won't say that this is like my number one go-to, but I will say that it's a nice comprehensive set. If you don't own any alcohol markers, uh, this is a good starter set. And I mean, the price point is amazing right now. Okay, so the price point has gone up a little bit since I last checked. It's $36.99, which I think right now that's a really really good price for what you get. And I really enjoyed using them. I did not have a whole lot of problems with bleeding or, you know, anything fading so much whenever it dried that it was just ridiculous. But let's get into the cons. Let me put on my glasses. Instantly smarter. Get off the blanket. It's clean. Don't. For those of you who don't know, my art studio is also the laundry room, <laughs> and my cat decided to climb up and get on the quilt that I was drying. It's completely dry right now, but yeah, anywhere she can make a bed, whether it's clean towels or clean blankets or her own bed or anything else that she shouldn't lay on, she's gonna lay on it if I don't keep up with it. We're gonna get into maybe some of the cons. Now, this isn't necessarily a a deal breaker. I got to thinking about it and I thought the make of these reminds me of another brand that I have, which is the Shuttle Art brand. So yes, they are identical. So what that tells me is that most likely this is a private label situation. And uh, you can Google that if you like, I'm not going to get into it. So, you know, if you have the Shuttle Art marker, I don't think, I didn't go through all of them. I, there are some matching colors in here. So you may already own some of these colors. And so if you have the Shuttle Art 88, um, I think this is the 88 set. 
yeah, right there. Um, you're not going to need this. So don't bother spending your money on it. You might have a few colors in here that aren't in the shuttle R88. Um, I, like I said, I didn't, I didn't take the time to go through them all. I just don't want you to waste your money. That could be a deal breaker for you. Maybe not. I don't know. But you know, if you're, if you're an art supply collector too, uh, that might just be, you know, an extra, you know, set of markers that you can have whenever the other ones, you know, are done for. So take it for what you will. I think that's really the only con that I ran into. I used this set for these two portraits. So yes, um, these were from the 30 faces, 30 days subjects. Um, I used the skin tones mostly for this set because this one, um, you know, her skin is so fair, it was hard to find colors that would match it. So I went into the Artist of Skin Tone 36 and used her um, skin tones for this particular portrait. But this one actually, you know, she has a warmer skin tone, a deeper skin tone. So those skin tones that are in this set, you know, that's, that's some of them right here that you're seeing. I found that they did, they blended well. They weren't super streaky or anything like that. You know, as, as many of you know, who work exclusively in alcohol markers, you have to kind of layer in order to kind of get the streaks from showing through. Um, I'm not an expert in alcohol markers, by the way. I just use them mostly for the first segment of my portraits. And so I still, there's more application of the markers versus the color pencils that I use on top of it, but I still use color pencil on top of the alcohol markers for the fine details and everything, especially in the eyes, because you just, even if you have a fine tip on these markers, they're still too big to get into those big details or those little details that you're looking to, you know, kind of make pop with the eyes or with like her eyeshadow. I used the actual markers and then I went over it with some polychromos. So, you know, there's that to think about. It just depends on what your situation is. If you work exclusively in alcohol markers, then, you know, that's fine. And you will probably enjoy this set if you work with colored pencils and, you know, you use that on top of the markers. I think you'll have a great time too. Um, I don't think you'll run into too many problems. I guess I could have done this without the help of another brand, but her hair, and um, I'll try to throw up a, a reference photo of her, and she's featured in, in the other video, I think week three of 30 Days, 30 Faces, but her hair was kind of wispy in such a way that I wasn't able to get the right texture that I wanted to convey with the chisel tip. But that's not exclusive to this brand necessarily as a con. It just is what it is. So I used the Art and Fly markers, and I did a review on those as well for her hair. Now, with her hair, I actually did use the parking markers along with another brand. So overall, I don't think there are really any huge cons other than, you know, I like a lot of colors, and this is just kind of a comprehensive kit of colors that you could use if you're starting out or if you just want to add and supplement your collection as well. Um, but is it going to be my go-to set? Probably not, but I mean, they're a great set. I don't think there's anything really, there's nothing wrong with the quality of the marker itself. So that's something to keep in mind whenever you're going and you're shopping online right now because, you know, our art supply stores are not open. And if you don't want to spend a lot of money on alcohol markers, this is the way to go because these right here, I mean, you get 80 colors for $36. That's pretty amazing. I think it's fantastic that we have so many alternatives now to Copics because Copics are so expensive. They're wonderful. Don't get me wrong. I have some Copics. I love them. And really they are top of the line, but we have so many options now, like probably six or seven years ago, whenever I was looking into getting into alcohol markers, really the only thing that was out there was Copics and Prismacolor. So, you know, we have more options now and we have a lower price point for those of you who really don't want to commit to Copics yet. If you don't know if you're going to be using alcohol mark markers all the time, or if it's your medium, but uh, I will say one last thing. And I'm just, a little nitpicky, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> when I look at the color chart and I see other colors, I do wish there was maybe a little bit more of some purples here. Now we've got like so these cool tone lilacs here, and then we kind of have these more pinkish, you know, colors here. And then we have this nice deep purple, but 
it would be nice to have a true purple involved. Um, you know, it's really not that big of a deal. But uh, seeing that in comparison, we have a lot of greens. And, um, you know, as far as secondary colors go, it might be nice to just have a couple more purples. That's all I'm saying, you know. <laughs> that's all, folks. Yeah, it's that's really all I have to say about my experience with these markers and just kind of an overview of what the pros and cons are. So yeah, that is it, folks, just for this particular video. And I hope that you will follow me on all my social media and keep in touch with me. I would love to do some live streams whenever things get a little bit more accessible to it. I'm going to try and work on that for the future. And so we will also get back to the 30 Days 30 Faces and some tutorials and everything. So I hope you are doing well. I hope you have a wonderful day and keep creating artists because that's exactly what we need right now. Okay, I'll see you later. Ugh, I got lip... I got hair with my lip gloss. I don't even know if I got it or not. No, now it's somewhere else. Okay. I think I got it. <laughs> God. Oh, off to a good start. <laughs> oh, that hit me in the face. I love this shirt. I didn't, I got this at Walmart. I really don't like to shop at Walmart. I really don't usually buy clothes at Walmart. Disclaimer, I'm so insecure. Um, no, this was, this actually came with pants too. I didn't buy the pants, but these are, I think these were like 20 bucks. And it just reminded me of some of the rainbow patterns whenever I grew up in the 80s as a kid, you know, just like everything kind of had this sort of like post 70s kind of rainbow look too. I just love it. I love it. So 